There is a new professional basketball team in Frederick, Maryland. The Flying Gals hit the court for the first time this year and have been having a great season. Chris Jenkins, Ed Corporal, and Tavares Sledge all join us now today to talk about the organization. So thank you guys so much for being here this morning. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, so first up, how does it feel to bring basketball to Frederick? It has to be really exciting. It's been really exciting uh, bringing professional basketball to Frederick. The, the town has really wrapped uh, their arms around us and it's just been very exciting and then plus uh, just to top things off, we've been winning. That, that always helps. That always helps is winning. So you said the town and the community has really embraced you guys. How does that feel to be so like welcomed and have fans come out there and just cheer for you guys and just be, I mean, bringing professional sports anywhere is just a big boost in morale and mood for everyone. Yeah, it's just been great. I mean, just uh, the community, like I was saying, they wrapped everything around this team and, and just it's embraced us and it's just been fun. I mean, just like, you know, everybody knows about the kids love us and, you know, even the, just the community coming around, just watching us and we're just having a lot of fun. And for your home games, you guys work with nonprofits. So can you tell us a little bit about that and how you got involved with that? Correct. Yeah, we have, non we have a, a nonprofit of the game for every single game. So those nonprofits get a percentage of ticket sales, merchandise sales, 50-50 um, raffles. And then we also did an initiative called the 12 Days of Giving. Um, around holiday time where those 12 nonprofits are, are, are tied in. So all about giving back to the community. Yes, the community that has embraced you guys so much. Yeah. So how does it feel to just, I don't know, just be on the court and hear the fans like cheering? It's got to be really fun. It's fun. It's amazing. <laughs> it's, it's amazing, especially when you're winning and everyone's supporting you. So it's very fun. So how can people come see you? Because you guys still have several games left. How can people come see you and where are you guys playing? Yep, so we play at Hood College in Frederick, Maryland, Woodsboro Bank Arena. Um, we have, our next game is this weekend, Saturday at 5 o'clock. We have um, five more home games this month in May. Um, you can find all the information at GoFlyingCows.com or, or on socials at, at GoFlyingCows. Um, but yeah, a couple more home games and then playoffs. Playoffs. Wow. So who came up with the logo? I love the logo. It's so cool. Um, so we worked with a, a branding company that has done a lot of successful minor league basketball, um, minor league sports organizations, and it's, yeah, it's, it's turned out well. We're, we're, we're happy with, with everything so far. <laughs> Does the cow have a name? The mascot's name is Milkshake. Milkshake. <laughs> That's so awesome. Do you guys sell milkshakes there is a question? We're working on it. We do have ice cream. We do have beer. Um, we have co-branded ice cream, beer, and then a lot of other items. Working on the milkshake. And I love, like I just said, the it's so cool. Like the logo, the cow, the colors. Like, they, you, did you guys, I don't remember, did you guys have a naming contest? Or yes, we were you did. just like? Yes, we did, yeah. Yep, we had a naming contest back in the fall that the, the local fans of Frederick voted on, and Flying Cows was where we landed. Hey, and it's good, and it must be working because you guys are winning. Exactly. So, well, all right, well, good luck yeah. this weekend, and for more information, make sure you visit our website, dcnewsnow.com.